the GMC VIN numbers. Uh, they're in this kind of sequence, and this is out of the 1975 motor home maintenance manual, so it doesn't cover stuff back to 73 and 74 or what they did on it. But all of them start with a T, and that meant it was a GMC truck. The Z is a series, which was a three axle motor home. There's some vehicles out there that have a G that General Motors made a mini motorhome chassis. You know, like a mini Winnie, or mine was made by Roll Along. I know Roll Along had a classy motorhome they called a Roll Home, Roll Along, Roll Along. And so there could be some vehicles with a similar VIN number that have a G there instead of a Z. Uh, between 1970 and 1980, the, the GMC, uh, or maybe it was all the General Motors. I found the thing on the computer that was from 1970 to 1980. It was an uh, engine identifier. And the E meant that it was a V8 gasoline engine. It didn't signify, there was no difference. It's an E whether it's a 455 or a 403. They didn't, didn't change that. The next number here, let's just look at one of them, is either, either a zero, a one, a two, or a three. If it's a 1973 or 1974 with a GMC interior, it's a zero. I looked at uh, Bob Price's last night. He sure enough has a zero in it. He's got a 73. Uh, if it's a one, it's a General Motors interior between 1975 <coughs> and 1978. If it's a two, General Motors made a twin bed interior in 76 and 77, and those would have a two right there. If it's a three, it's a transmo, which they made from 75, 78, which was just a body shell, kind of like the Barbie dolls over there with no interior. They made what, radio station, they made uh, mobile x-ray labs, first uh, shuttle buses, there were a lot of things. My motor home was a transmo. So if it's a three, it was a transmo. Then the, uh, the next number is either a three or a six, depending on whether it's a 23 foot or a 26 foot. Next number is the year. It's a three, if it's a 73, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Uh, then all of them started with one zero and then whatever the order that your motorhome was made in. Uh, mine's number 10468, so mine is the 468 was made in 1975. Uh, it's also interesting, if you look at that little uh, sticker that's on the inside of the glove compartment door, it has everything about your motorhome. At the top, mine has like a 6-468, which meant it was a 26 foot, the serial number is 468, and then it's got the numbers, and that's the date that it was made. Mine was made on November the 18th, 1974, so it's got 111874 for the next number across the top. And then there's something to correction, and I don't know what those numbers are. Then it's got a VIN sticker on that glove compartment door, and it also it has a wheelbase. And then there's a whole list of all the whether you have air suspension, chrome bumpers, uh, air conditioning, uh, spare tire, carrier, the color, all that stuff is on that plate that's inside the building part. Bill Bryant, who used to snowbird down in Texas in the winter, showed me one time that the VIN number is stamped on the frame about where the refrigerator, the small window is on the driver's side front of the back tire, and we looked at a coach at a rally when he was telling you that, and sure enough, it was stamped there. It was upside down stamped, and it's kind of hard to see because you got all your airlines that are bundled up on the outside of the frame. So there we are back to, mine was a trans mode, 26 foot, 1975, 10468, 
The only thing interesting to me about that 468 was one time when I was looking at the book, I saw that uh, number 472 was the first 75 that had an HEI ignition. Mine had it once in condenser. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike Kelly's was a, a one, so he had a GMC interior. His was a Palm Beach, 26 foot, 1977. Somebody told me one time, I, or I read it, that Palm Beach was the most, more Palm Beaches were made than any other yeah. GMC interior. They made that motor home in the world. They, they, they made a lot of Eleganzas, but there was SEs and Eleganzas and Eleganza 2s, so I guess you can them up. You say there's most in the world now? Yeah. 76 Palm Beach. Most produced motor home ever. Now, and there were, the 76 was the year they made the most GMCs. Yeah. 3,200 and something, I think, they made that year. 